Hey, Romero here from Ag Excel. Just wanted to go quickly do an overview of the GX50 gas version uh, and system. And uh, first of all, it comes with a box full of parts. You'll get your manuals. You're gonna get some components that helps you to connect the flow meter to the system. So it really doesn't matter which way you configure the flow meter, it'll go either way. And it has the different adapters for it. But just also, if, if it, whichever way you do maneuver it, this face, is definitely turnable, so you can you can turn it whichever way you want to go, and that shows up in the manual. So um, then it also comes with your tank valve. So this will all become set up in the box here. Here, the system. I just want to quickly overview. There's three hoses that you're going to connect to the system: your inlet, your outlet to your nurse tank, and also a bypass. It's critical that you connect the bypass that goes back to the tote because if anything kinks or something plugs, then it's going to, your emergency features on here are going to send it back uh, to the, uh, the tote itself. So it's critical that you set that up. So basically you're coming in from your tote into the system and through a filter, in through the pump. You're coming out of the pump on your pressure side. And from your pressure side, it's going to make a decision here on where it's going to go. And this is, a, this is a bypass valve that's preset at the factory at 200 PSI. So it's either gonna come through and go to your nurse tank, or depending on where this valve's at, it's gonna come through and either circulate like, or go to the tank. And then you have this hose here. This is your third hose that you must connect and send it back again, once again, to your tote. It's important that you set this, set this up and send it back to the tote. The valve itself, you'll see there's two settings. When it comes in, it's either gonna come in and go to your nurse tank, this hose here, or when you set this, it's gonna come in and it's gonna recirculate. So once it's in this position here, it's gonna be recirculating. When it's in the streamline condition here, straight with the plumbing, that's going to your nurse tank. And whenever we start this, you start the engine up, I'll show you, you want it in this position because you want it recirculating first before it goes out to your nurse tank. Um, the gauge itself, you hit the on button, you'll see a number's there. If you ever need to reset it, you'll hold the reset button, number two to for three seconds and it'll reset itself. The flow count number is already preset, it's set to number six. So you wanna reset, you don't, you don't really need to mess with that because um, six really reads it really well. So on the gas engine itself, you have an on and off switch back here. So you also have your throttle, your minimum, your max. You have a choke. So on cold days or so, you want to choke that. And then you also have your, your gas on or off. So your fuel is going to be on in the on position. And these are usually one pull starts. They work extremely well. So once, once this is started, remember you want this lever in the bypass mode. So it's gonna be coming this way so that once you pull the, the engine and start it, it's gonna rotate through the system. It's not gonna bypass and go, or excuse me, it's not gonna to go to the pill tank. It's gonna stay within the system and circulate. So I'll give you a demonstration on that. Everything, like I said, everything else is preset. You have your bypass set to 200 PSI. And then we have another spike valve down below that um, it's a secondary spike valve, just in case something does plug or, or hose kinks, there's a secondary in there that'll allow it to circulate. That's set to factory set to 220, 230. And so two, two safety mechanisms that are put in place just in case one of the hoses do kinks and so forth. So again, three hoses that you connect. Uh, when you're ready to go, this is gonna be in the bypass mode so that you can get this going and circulating. So now that it's in bypass, you don't want to just jerk on it like this. You want to make sure you get the slack out of the motor first. Once that slack is out, give it a pull. Throttle the gas up. You can slow it down. It really depends what speed you want to inject the chemical at. So, once that's going, you notice here, if that's going, it's going to be counting, okay? 
So what that's counting, when you, when you switch this over, you want to reset this. Okay, so once you reset it, you hold it for three seconds. Now it's going to your nurse tank. Now that it's going to the nurse tank, and it's now counting. You want to slow it down? It'll slow it down while it's going into the nurse tank. Or you can speed it up. Okay, so you can see the flow running. Once you reach the flow you're after, so let's say you're trying to put in 10 gallons and once it reaches 10 gallons, you first shut this valve off before you shut the motor off. That way it goes into a recirculation mode. So once it reaches, switch it. And then you can shut that off.